Hello my beautiful bees. Thank you for joining me. Tonight we're under a bit of candlelight. I've uh, extended my videos past the prime, but I'm excited to do a candlelight video. And I'm excited to first talk to you about um, candle magic. And if you want to take a look at this piece of paper and pause the video, it would be a good idea. Because then you'll get all the information in one bit. In my handwriting on red and pink. Okay. But I'm going to read them to you. Okay. So I want to talk about candle magic and and color magic and when you wear these colors and when we use them. Okay. <clears throat> And first we're going to talk about the color red, um, which to me is my very favorite color. It is part of my goddess bestet, and it is part of me, and it is part of me on the skin level as well, um, all over, which I really love and appreciate. <clears throat> so, in basic color magic, it represents confidence and courage. It represents increasing your sexual energy. It represents arousing passion. Now that doesn't just mean passion in sexual energy, it can mean passion in anything. It represents protection from attackers, which is so important these days, guys, because think of how we are online and think of how our presence is virtually everywhere. We're checking in where we're at. It's important that we, we keep our... Um, ourselves safe from those kinds of things, okay? So, yeah, very important. Um, it is important, red is important in arousing passion, in protection from attackers, and protection from rape and domestic violence, okay? So, kind of resonating with anything that connects with the color red, whether it be sexual in a positive or a negative, and then also confidence and courage, okay? And then, when we wear it, the time that we want to wear red is in sabbats, which are the magical holidays, right? Um, we want to wear them in protective rites when we're protecting ourselves. Again, back to that sexual energy and that energy that's so precious to us. And we want to wear red when we're uh, attuning with the God in his fiery, solely aspect. <clears throat> Excuse me. When we're attuning with the God in his fiery, solar aspect. Okay, I don't edit my videos, guys. I talk to you as friends. So that's why I uh, clear my throat and say it again. All right, so that's red, and now we're moving on to the color pink. Pink Floyd, my favorite band probably of all of time. <laughs> uh, so in basic color magic, pink is encouraging of romance and of attracting love, okay? And I think that we can kind of resonate with that on a really good level. Pink is kind of like harmless, attraction of love, not too out there, not too outgoing. And then pink in a basic color of magic is also creating harmony in relationships of, in marriage. Okay? Now, when we wear pink, it enhances beauty to appear more physically attractive. I think that makes sense because when we wear pink it makes us look youthful, innocent, young, all of that, right? So all those are kind of attracted to the same thing. And also when we wear pink it improves our musical talents. So in a very short, less than five minute video, I've talked about both red and pink in color magic and how we wear them. Stay tuned for my next video, which is on orange, and we'll follow the colors of the rainbow as we go. I'm Jen, the taxidermy witch. I love all of my friends, and thank you for joining me here so that we can make the most beautiful community. I love you all.